And welcome. Today we're going to look at the Scarlet again. And today we're looking at setup. So like I said in the last video, I've had this for about three years and coming up on three years actually. And that's probably why I didn't think about um, showing the box or what um, or how to set how, <laughs> how to set this thing up to begin with. So I'm going to do that now. This is not a real unboxing because it's already unboxed, but uh, this is the box and you can tell that it was three years ago because it says right here Pro Tools 9 ready and now we have Pro Tools 12 and uh, various versions of that so it comes in a box which is mm, it's a rectangle and uh, we have information on the box and it shows you the connections so we have of course our yeah, sorry, this is a little bit dark but we have our, our connections like I showed last time you have the halos and as we saw, I made it go red. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out where that eye, little eye pops up in the corner. Yeah. So anyway, um, shows the connection. So USB 2 to computer as, as it shows here. And then your monitors come out the two ports on the back. Headphones out the front. You can connect to microphones or a stage piano. And uh, let's see if we can get on the front. It's a little better. Okay, yes. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention is where it says line and instrument. You can, um, if you're if you were to connect a stage piano like it shows at the back, you would switch this or a guitar. You would switch this to instrument. So, so yes. Also in the box, okay, it tells you two high quality award winning Focusrite mic pre's, and they are excellent. Uh, 24 bit 96 kilohertz USB 2, which also provides you with the phantom power, as we looked at last time. Total of uh, count of two inputs and two outputs, which is why it's called the 2i2. It's two in, and I guess they assume you would figure out that it's two out, so just the two. All right. It also comes with the Scarlet plug in suite, which I didn't mention in my video but here it is we have uh, the scarlet eq the scarlet gate the scarlet compressor which i love the sound of and the um the scarlet reverb which i'm not too thrilled with but i have other options for delay and reverb so that's not such a big deal okay so inside the box we have the plastic that it was in one of those do not eat packages, which I have still not thrown away, although I just did. Okay, uh, these little uh, paper braces on either end of it. Um, okay, this doesn't come with it, but this is a eighth inch to a quarter inch adapter from one of my previous headphone sets. Put okay, put the box down. Okay, so it tells you, it recommends that you get a Novation Impulse um, to have, uh, to control the Scarlet plug-in suite. Now, I didn't do that because at the time, I spent the money on a microphone. So, anyway. Okay, so this is what the Impulse controls. We're not really interested in that. Uh, here we have your um, your DVD with the drivers, and also it comes with Ableton Live Lite version 8, which I did install but haven't used much, and I actually got Live 9 with the key station, so I haven't used that very much. Okay, um, pocket guide to the full range of Focusrite Innovation products of our Ableton 
Live 8 card. This is just a random thing I'm storing in here. This was my first <laughs> MIDI kit. I still have the MIDI cable, but this software is no longer uh, supported. It was made by Turtle Beach. Okay, here's a guide. Getting started. And uh, it tells you, of course, to plug it into your computer and talks about the direct monitoring. We won't get into all that. Um, so we covered that already. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little bit of the setup. All right, here we are inside of Reaper, and uh, we're going to take a look at there. Well, there are actually a couple different ways to set this up, so I'm going to show you the first way, which would be to come down here, and uh, I'm in Windows, so however you do this, if you have a Mac, it's slightly different. But uh, you go to your audio device, which is right here, and that's a little blurry. But you see the speaker here, so you'll right click on that and you'll go to playback devices. And then it brings a list of uh, things. So right now, okay, we have this, which is our HDMI. Here we have the Scarlet right now it's on the default so what you what you could do is you could click here on the scarlet after you've installed the drivers of course that's what you want to do before you plug the scarlet in is install the drivers and then you can plug it in via the USB 2 like I teased at the end of the video uh, the, re the review video and so you'll click on this and then you'll come down here and you'll click on set default and then the audio for your entire system is fed through that through the scarlet and that's that's one way to do it and then you can also set it well it is already set as a default line in it's for recording so yeah because I don't have any other microphones plugged in so this is another place you would go for recording devices and you would click set default uh, as you can see these are grayed out we can't select those so so that's one way to do it but uh, we're gonna close this out the way I like to do it is to set it within the uh, within the software and so so we come up here and this is in preferences the reapers so we'll go down to audio device and we'll pick ISO because it is an ISO as you can see I've already set it up and we've chosen the Focusrite USB 2.0 driver. Now you can, you can see I have a few options there. You can even use um, these direct sound wave out, kernel, WDM kernel, dummy audio, wasapi. I, I have no idea. I've actually, I think I have used that one and direct sound, but it runs better with this. So uh, here you enable inputs which I imagine means you can disable them so they're enabled and the first one is one and the last one is two which I imagine if you had one with let's say four or eight inputs you could select which one is the first one and which one is the last one and the range and yeah and then the range is uh, okay that's the output range output one output two and then you can set the sample rate. Now this says it does 96k, so I, I put it at 96, and I told it to requ request that sample rate, so that automatically when I when I do stuff, it's it's running at 96, uh, and then it'll it'll up convert if it's at a lower sample rate. Now, if you click on this here, it brings you to the settings for the box itself, the Scarlet itself. So that's, uh, you can see it's already set. So we'll just close that. And then, pretty much just, uh, you can play or record, or let's see, to, uh, to record here in, well, let's do, we'll just play a little bit of it really quick.
just some ideas I've had. Okay. Yeah, I gotta just stop. And, okay, so to record, and inside of Reaper at least, you'll go here and insert new track. Or you could do Control T. I imagine it would be Command T on a Mac. You insert new track. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, disarm this one here. So you come down here and you will arm the track for record. But then you'll right click on that and you will select, okay, record audio or MIDI. And then we need to select with the input. So in this case, we're not using re reroute uh, or reroute. We're using uh, input one. And so input one is, of course, that input on the Scarlet. Now, right now, I don't have anything plugged into it. But if I did have something plugged into it, it would, um, it would capture from that. Okay, I guess we will save those changes. Okay, so here is an example of recorded material using the Scarlet, which I actually recorded not in Audition, but it's the same idea. So, uh, here we go. Uh, say goodbye, say goodbye to the one as well and uh, in case you're wondering I didn't write that that's a song by Mandisa the other one okay so that is how you set up and use the Scarlet oh by the way and um, if you were going to record once it's armed you you then hit record right here and the reason I disarmed that one is because I didn't want to record over this some uh, MIDI information, so here we go. And as you can see, it's recording, but there's no input. So what you're hearing is, of course, this. Son of Vox 88, my current favorite piano because it's the best one I have. Okay. So this is how. Okay, we're not going to save that audio recording, we'll just delete it. <clears throat> Alright, so that was the setup of the Scarlet 2i2. Thanks for watching.